Hey guys, it's Andy, the BPD Warrior here with my coping skill for you guys. Um, over the new year, um, I did not celebrate on New Year's Eve. I was actually just sitting on the computer and playing on social media, so it wasn't a very exciting new year for me, but uh, okay, eh, it made me a little lonely. And I kind of started missing my ex. We broke up in like uh, May, last May and I started missing him and thinking about contacting him and um, I didn't was trying not to so I asked in a support group if anyone else was dealing with this because I thought someone had said they were. And some people were like, yeah, I'm feeling that too, thinking about my ex. And one girl suggested a coping skill, her name's Lisa, uh, thank you Lisa, suggested a coping skill we use. And I have used it and found it helpful. So this is, is a great coping skill for anyone who is missing someone from a breakup. You take some index cards and on each one write one thing that you disliked about your ex or a problem you had, just anything negative that reminds you of why you don't want to be with that person. So I tried this and I found it helpful. Um, so it could be something mundane like you wouldn't change the toilet paper. Leave just the empty toilet paper roll up there so I'd have to, to change it every time. It's ridiculous. Or it could be something as big as he broke up with me via text message. So he's obviously a class act. Or something more, something kind of in between, like he's always left the kitchen really dirty, and I'd have to go back after after him and clean clean everything. Um, so you just go through this list and read these things over and over again until you get it in your head why you're not with this person anymore. So that's my coping skill. Um, it really helped me get through the new year, and now that it's been a few weeks, I am feeling. Definitely better. No, it's been, I mean, that's only been about a week. It's been about a week. And I'm feeling a lot better and not missing him nearly as much. So I'm very much better thanks to the coping skill because of Lisa. All right. That's it for Andy today, the BPD warrior. I'm out.